This is a talented actor you can see in the new series, The After Party, which premieres this Friday on Apple TV+. Please welcome Dave Franco! Thank you for being here, buddy. I really appreciate this. Uh, of course. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, last time you were here, uh, uh, we, we talked about your cats. So I should just ask, just to be polite, how are, how are your cats? Yeah, that checks out. I, um, I actually did another interview recently where the journalist asked, um, what defines you? You know, what do most people associate you with? And I was like, wow, that's a, that's a really good question. And all of my castmates chimed in and they were like, cats. And I was like, wow, I guess that is sadly true. But for whatever reason, at some point, being obsessed with cats became like a quirky character trait. Like, why is loving cats not the norm? Wow. I mean, you, you really, I mean, it is, I mean, kind of the norm. I mean, some, some people are dog people, I guess, but some people are, you know, I, Everyone's dog people. If you look at all popular culture, anytime there's a cat on screen, they're the bad guy. What's up with that? And so, like, within our household, we treat our two cats like little gods, and we we've actually gotten to the point where we start having back and forth conversations with them. We are we have turned into those people. Wow. Uh, we actually yeah. have a video of, of of Dave Franco in conversation with his cat Otis. This is real. Take a look. Oh. Otis. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow! I've never seen anyone do that in my life. Hey, I, I've, heard, I've heard all this stuff about Chris Evans' dog being famous. I'm just trying to get my boy Otis up there That's with That's what it. I'm talking about, Otis. Let's get Otis a movie. Let's get Otis a voiceover. <laughs> At least a voiceover <laughs> in a cartoon. Absolutely. Uh, I want to talk about the after party. It premieres uh, this <clears> Friday <throat> on Apple TV Plus. Uh, man, is it funny. Uh, and is from the same team that did uh, 21 Jump Street and the Lego movies. If you guys saw any of the Lego movies. Yeah. They're brilliant. It is such a, uh, they're such great uh, writers, producers, directors. But uh, uh, can you set up what the after party is all about? Yes, so it's, uh, it's a murder mystery set at a high school reunion um, where each episode is told from a different character's point of view. And the character's personality actually informs the genre of each episode. So, like, the, the jocks episode is shot like an action movie, and the art students episode is actually animated, and so on and so on. So it's, like, a very, very unique concept. Uh, you play a, a famous pop singer named Xavier. Correct. Great name, by the way, and you have a great look. Uh, oh, actually, do you have a picture of it? <laughs> Here's Xavier here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, Xavier, uh, had to, you had to record uh, some original pop songs. Oh, do you get nervous uh, when you have to sing, or no, you're like, oh, I can do it? No, I, I'm not very proficient when it comes to singing. This was my first time, like, doing it professionally, and it was very scary. I mean, not just the singing, but the actual songs. You know, titles like... X marks the G spot and uh, do wet. It's D O space wet, and it's everything the character likes doing while wet. Uh -huh. And so you can uh, you can imagine the explicit lyrics that come with all of that. Yeah, I can. Um, yeah, absolutely, I can. <laughs> and uh, my my vocal wow. coach, uh, Fiora Cutler, she is just the sweetest person in the world. And so just, you know, imagining me earnestly trying to sing those graphic lyrics to her, uh, we were both very, very embarrassed for me, but we have now <laughs> gotten to the point where, yeah. where we have recorded four songs and we have a full EP coming out and we shot a music video as well. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> okay, let's look for, is X Marks the first one coming up? Oh, X marks the G spot. Yeah, that's the that's the hit single, I think. But we got we got duet, we got I'ma live forever, and we got just like you. Um, All right, yeah, yeah, coming out soon. So yeah, duet. Mm. <laughs> uh, I, I I I I do want to give away a spoiler, by the way, but I, well, I'm allowed to because we asked you before if we could talk about this because uh, your character supposedly is in a, was in a Hollow Notes biopic. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they show scene from that, scenes from that, and it's you and Channing Tatum as Hall and Oates. Um, yeah. <laughs> was 
People want to see this. Yeah. Uh, apparently, what I heard is that uh, when you were doing it, it just turned out to be so much fun, everything was working, that you ended up just kept shooting, and you almost recorded, like, four hours of this bit. Yeah. It was, so on the page, it was probably, like, maybe three or four lines back and forth, and we ended up filming for, like, three or four hours. We just couldn't stop riffing on Hall & Oates, and... <laughs> Uh, you know, there's probably like a, a 30 minute cut out there of me and Channing just kind of going back and forth arguing about who gets to have the mustache because you can't have a two man band and two stashes. You got to pick one. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Everyone yeah. Oates, knows the rules. Oates is the guy, of course. Yeah, exactly. John Oates. Uh, I, you brought us an exclusive clip. Here's Dave Franco mm -hmm. and Channing Tatum as Hall and Oates in the after party. Take a look at this. <laughs> You see that? That right there is what we need. A broken record? No, a smash hit! This city will put you in its mouth, bite you up, and spit you out. It's a, it's an eater of men. Wait, what did you just say? Grab your axe, it's chart breaking time. Let's break them charts, come on, let's eat. Okay, you go high, I'll go the same high. Okay. And the one, and... Yeah, and that's how they wrote Man Eater. Of course, that's exactly how. Dave Franco, oh, everybody, yeah. the after party premieres this Friday on Apple TV Plus. It is super funny, super well done. Gonna see it. Best to Allison, buddy. Hey, hey.